For first time on record, rainfall observed at peak of Greenland ice sheet. For the first time in history, researchers at the National Science Foundation Summit Station saw rain at the apex of Greenland's fast-melting ice sheet this past weekend, an occurrence triggered by rising temperatures. For the third occasion in less than a decade, the National Science Foundation Summit Station experienced above freezing temperatures and wet snow. At around 5 a.m. local time on Saturday morning, temperatures at the pinnacle of the ice sheet soared above freezing. Rain fell for the next several hours, and on-station observers reported seeing water droplets on surfaces around the camp. The ice sheet melted significantly due to the warmer-than-normal temperatures, with the melt extent peaking at 337,000 square miles on August 14. Warm weather in the late-season date of the three-day melt event, along with the rains, resulted in both substantial melting and high runoff volumes to the ocean, according to the National Snow and Ice Data Center. The surface mass lost on August 15, 2021, was seven times higher than the mid-August normal. Large stretches of bare ice persist throughout much of the southern and northern coastal areas at this time of year, with no ability to absorb melt or rainfall. As a result, the water that has gathered on the surface rushes downhill and into the ocean. While the three-day melting event does not have a huge impact on its own, Ted Scambos, a senior research scientist at the University of Colorado at Boulder's Cooperative Institute for Research in Environmental Sciences, told the Washington Post on Thursday that it is indicative of the increasing extent, duration, and intensity of melting on Greenland. Greenland is changing, much like the rest of the planet. Scambos claims that what is happening isn't just a warm decade or two in a shifting climatic pattern. A hot wave in Greenland in July resulted in enough melting to cover Florida with two inches of water. The United States Pacific Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just declared July to be the hottest month on record. If you haven't done yet please subscribe our channel.